What is going on guys? Uh, exciting day today. We got uh, a lot of my electrical roughed in. We've got power in the off-grid uh, cabin. We just uh, got the fan up. Let me take you in and show you what I got. It's kind of a mess. I got my fan up, running on my switches. Got my inverter in here, plugged into my breaker box. Off this leg, this is my main coming off the inverter. And just got most of my uh, electrical roughed in. Slowly working on stuff. It's a uh, man, it's a chore <laughs> doing this stuff. It, freezing outside today and just trying to get all this stuff done sorry just trying to get all this stuff done it's uh it's a lot of work trying to figure it all out and how i need to do everything and running everything off solar and whoo <laughs> but we're getting it i got uh almost all the electrical roughed in i got to let me see if I can show you here. Back here, I've got uh, built walls for the bathroom and finished building the walls for the bedroom. I've got uh, a start on it. Let me get you out of that light there. I've got a start on it. I've got this wall built for the bedroom. The bedroom will be back here and closet back here. I've got the the rooms taped off. Down this wall will be the bathroom over here. Right there will be the tub, toilet, uh, vanity, and then I'll have stairs going up into the loft. I'm going to bring this loft out to this uh, two before here and then divide it in half and then put a closet or washer and dryer in here and build a wall right through here. So got a lot of work to do trying to get it done as quick as possible. I got to get this electric roughed in. Boy, I look rough. <laughs> Get this uh, electrical roughed in, and then I've got to get the walls built, the loft built out, get the plumbing in, set all that stuff in, put windows in. I've got windows I've got to put in. I'm going to put windows in down there underneath of the ceiling fan, a couple in the front here on the other side, and down on the end of the bedrooms going another one. So just trying to get it all done. Good thing is, is I had it, this white wrap you will see, this is a Tyvex uh, house wrap. If you all ever get any of these sheds, uh, make sure they put this on there because it's, what it is, it's like a insulating barrier and it's a moisture barrier. And same thing for this roof, it's, this is like a bubble wrap, uh, same kind of stuff as the Tyvex. but. The bad thing is with a shed, and I see this all the time, these people will get shed metal roof and stuff and then they don't have nothing put on them. Well, what happens when you live in a shed, you know, I mean, I, I call this a shed just for the simple reason so you all can understand. It's, it's a 16 by 40, so it's really not a shed, it's more of a cabin. But anyways, when you heat it, when you put a stove in here or whatever you're going to heat it with, propane, it sweats and all that moisture will just come down in a mold and everything else. So you don't want that. You want, just like your tin, where that moisture can go down that plastic and then outside, same thing down the wall. So you don't have all that moisture inside your house and uh, mold and stuff. It's the same thing like when somebody builds a house for you. All this stuff has to be done, has to be done. So if you all have any questions or any suggestions, I know everything's really loose. I got. Uh, a lot of wires like this that I, I've got to finish tacking up. I run out of the clips 
got to finish tacking everything up a little bit. Breaker box, I got to get me a ground rod and stuff. I just temporarily just so I can have power in here. That's why they're all, they're just one leg of this box is powered. That's why I skipped every other one because I just, just Jerry rigged it with a suicide cord into one breaker. That way I could have power on everything that I put in here anyways, charge my drills or whatever. So super excited, ready to get this thing done so we can get some goats and get the garden in. I hope you all enjoy. Subscribe, like, hit that bell button. Thanks.